the book of the law, liberal, religious, sub figura, CCXX. Basic bitch. Illiterate. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back, my friends. If you're new here, I am Lance B, and I am reacting to uh, a video that just kind of popped up on my recommended today because I was originally going to record the second part of the Internet Historian, my immortal video, but I think I'll do that tomorrow instead because this looked kind of interesting. And I love anything like Internet Mysteries, Dark Web ghost horror stories, creepy pasta, stuff like that. And I'd like to do more of those videos on this channel, but, you know, I don't know how a lot of my subscribers will react or be interested in that because a lot of my content I've noticed is very, um, uh, how can I put it? Uh, hi, gay. Uh, so, <laughs> a lot of it's, like, drag-related, uh, Type of really, you know, just very, you know, LGBTQ plus uh, content. But I like to do, you know, venture, you know, and broaden my horizons on this channel with a little bit more creepy stuff. And I think this will be really kind of like a nice little icebreaker. I do have a few past videos I did like a year or two ago when I first started my channel to kind of like test out the waters, and it did. All right, so I do have a playlist. Um, now they are from my earlier, my earlier years. Like I did this for ten years. This is going on my third year, uh, my first year, I think. Um, so it's uh, the editing style and my camera style and where I used to film at is totally different. And but this one's called Cicada. Is it? Cicada or Cicada? I think it's Cicada, but I'm from the South, and we want to say Cicada. 3301, an internet mystery. Now, only reason why I kind of thought, I really want to check this out, because I remember one of my friends kind of mentioning it a couple years back. And they were telling me all about it. I wasn't really paying attention because, you know, the edible kicked in. And I was, it got kind of foggy. Uh in a little bit parts here, but he made he like was like so into it. And what I remember is it sounded pretty interesting. So I'd like to get into this and let's check this out. And here we go. Hey, all you little fucking nerds watching online. We like to fuck in the ass. X rated. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah, come on, baby. Just let me know. On the 4th of January 2012, a user on 4chan posted this image to the site's infamous B or random board. The anonymous 4chan. Why is it the craziest shit is always on 4chan? Any video I've ever seen and any kind of like mystery is always on 4chan. Why is that? Whoever made 4chan had to been some like some shady motherfucker. I don't know. I don't get it, but let's keep going. This <laughs> author, who went by the four-digit pseudonym 3301, challenged users to uncover a message hidden within the image. Unbeknownst to those who stumbled across it, someone had just set in motion one of the most elaborate scavenger hunts the internet has ever seen. Okay. Oh, it's like a scavenger hunt. Okay, I didn't know that. Within minutes of the image being posted, someone discovered that by opening the file using a text editor, an appended string of readable text could be found. The string contained a cipher that, once deciphered, formed a link to yet another image. At first, this appeared to be a dead end, but using an application known as OutGuess, users were able to extract hidden information embedded within the first image. The extracted information oh led to a God. subreddit, which in turn contained information about the book. The book, along with a code, could then be used to uncover a phone number that, when called, played this pre-recorded message. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final .jpeg image. 330, 
one is one of them, you will have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. Goodbye. Oh, my God. See, I wouldn't even made it first to outguess what? What? Out.com? What? <laughs> oh, Henny. Jesus Christ. Like, you would have to be some kind of, wow. I, I, wow. Wow. Whoever came up, who, oh, wow. I don't know what to even say. That is some wild stuff already. By the following day, the initial image had been reposted all over the internet. A growing community of armchair detectives sought to unravel this elaborate puzzle, but no one was quite sure what to make of it. What was the puzzle for? Who was behind it? What happens when you reach the end? Some naturally dismissed it as an elaborate joke, while others perceived its complexity as evidence against it being the work of a mere troll. Before long, rumors began to circulate that this could be the work of some secret society or intelligence agency, with the intent of recruiting individuals proficient in cryptography, steganography, and other related fields. Of course, it was nothing but a rumor. The two missing numbers mentioned in the recording proved to be the dimensions of the original image. After multiplying the width and height with 3301 and using the product as a web address, users were taken to a website. The website consisted of a countdown as well as an image of a cicada. When the countdown reached zero, the page was updated with a list of coordinates. The coordinates pointed to locations around the globe, 14 locations in 5 different countries. It was now up to participants living near the specified coordinates to rise from their comfortable armchairs and venture outside. Those who believed Cicada to be the work of an organization now felt their beliefs had been justified. In their opinion, only some international collective possessed the means and resources to create a scavenger hunt of this magnitude. This was not the work of your average troll. No, this had to be something else. At each location was a poster with a cicada symbol and a QR code. And the bike shelter over here. See, so I got a got her right there. Oh. You can see the corner is a it's excited, I just kind of ripped it off. The codes linked to an image, the image wow, contained okay. a riddle, the riddle led to a book, and the book led to a website. But here, the puzzle took an unexpected wait, turn. Wait, wait, Only a hold on, hold on. Hold the on. codes linked to an image, the image contained a riddle, the riddle led to a book, and the book led to a web. Agrippa, a book of the dead. Oh, that's okay. Oh, Jesus. That sounds dark sided. Sight. But here, the puzzle took an unexpected turn. Only a select group of first arrivals to this website were accepted into the final stage of the puzzle. The site eventually closed down with a message, we want the best, not the followers. The finalists were also warned not to collaborate with others nor to share the details of this private stage of the puzzle. Well, uh, given that we know this, it's safe to say that not everyone heeded that warning. But those who did presumably advanced through the final stages before reaching the very end of the puzzle. After nearly a month of silence, an image appeared on the subreddit announcing the conclusion of the puzzle, and just like that, the hunt was over. Cicada had supposedly found the highly intelligent individuals they were looking for and whatever happened to them is a bit of a mystery, but more on that in a moment. The complete lack of an explanation was perceived by many as confirmation that the puzzle had been nothing but a wild goose chase intent on wasting everyone's time. After all, questions raised by the original image remained unanswered. What was the puzzle for? Who was behind it? What happens when you reach the end? However, I'm wondering if you become like if it's the government type of thing, and they're looking for the best people to become. They're hiring as the best uh, government hackers. 
Wouldn't that be kind of interesting? That's a hell of a way to find, get a job through the government. <laughs> They're looking for the best hackers in the world or the best people to be that they can find. They're like computer savvy. That'd be kind of interesting. Or they just could have killed him. I don't know. It could be like a internet killer or something like that. But I'm hoping to be more like a, a great way to get a job. <laughs> As it later turned out, this was only the beginning. This is only the beginning. Oh, wow. Whomever was behind this intricate game had the foresight to include an authentication code known as a PGP signature along with every clue. Wow. This allowed users to verify that an immature message was actually from Cicada, as opposed to some imposter seeking to derail or hijack the puzzle. Cicada had repeatedly warned of such false paths and insisted that any message lacking a valid PGP signature should promptly be disregarded. That's why this image, posted exactly a year and a day after the first, provoked such a frenzy. After a year of lackluster imitations, this image finally matched the official PGP signature. Cicada was back and it was time for round two. The second puzzle was not too dissimilar from the first. The image enclosed a message, the message led to a book, the book produced a link, and gradually the puzzle unfolded. At one point, the whoa, recording whoa, whoa, titled whoa, 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 The hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, puzzle unfolded. At one oh, god dang, I don't get it. I don't, hold on, I'm just kind of curious. Hold on. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We got, it, we got it. the book of the law, liberal, religious, sub figura, CCXX. I'm a basic bitch, illiterate. The book of the law, liberal. Okay, I don't know them. Okay, 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 okay. I'll look it up later. I see some Egyptian hieroglyphics here. I bet you were the brightest in your class, weren't you? Okay. So unfolded. At one point, the recording titled The Instar Emergence was uncovered. to a cryptic Twitter account, which then led to an image. The image proved vital to the progression of the puzzle, but the inclusion of this runic alphabet would remain a mystery for quite some time. Much like the first puzzle, the second swelled into the physical world when a list of coordinates compelled participants to once again take to the streets in search of enigmatic posters. This time it was eight locations in four different countries. But eventually, the trail went cold once again. Another select group of first arrivals had been accepted into a final, private stage of the puzzle. Unlike the first puzzle, the second did not conclude with an official message from Cicada. The trail merely went cold and Cicada vanished once more, leaving us no closer to an explanation. However, this was still not the end. Wow, holy Jesus. At the beginning of 2014, it was time for round three. Once again, the image enclosed a message, the message led to a book, the book produced a link, and suffice it to say, it was more of the same. Except this I time... I keep on screwing to, this up. Hold this on. time, the puzzle seemed hold to... On, hold on, When it gets the to same. the book, I always Except forget. this time, the puzzle... Uh, come on. ...the link, and suffice ah, it to say... Oh, before you... Okay. Dover Thrift Edition. Okay. Randolph Waldo Immersion in Self Reliance and Other Essays. Okay. Boy, that sounds totally different from the last two. Okay. Hey, it was more of the same. Except this time, the puzzle seemed to revolve around a strange book. The book was titled Liber Primus, meaning first book in Latin, and was evidently written by Cicada. The runic alphabet uncovered in 2013 finally made sense as the book was primarily written in runes. E even so, the meaning of the translated pages were cryptic at best. 
The book consisted of various philosophical and ideological ideas and appeared to be their manifesto. Many have since compared the strange writings to that of a cult. Nevertheless, the book also comprised a myriad of clues and codes. For example, this page advised participants to seek out a website on the deep web, but the site remains undiscovered. Another page led to a website containing yet another recording titled Interconnectedness. I mean, that's pretty sounding. However, a significant portion of the book has yet to be translated. The runic text on some of the pages appear to be obfuscated by layers of encryption that has yet to be decrypted. Of the 74 pages featuring runes, only 19 have been successfully translated. As 2015 came and went without the launch of a new puzzle, many came to suspect the Liber Primus had to be completed if Cicada was to return. This was more or less confirmed at the beginning of 2016, when Cicada encouraged a re-examination of the book. More than four years have now gone by, with minimal progress and near-complete silence from Cicada. Questions raised by the original image have gone ignored. What is the purpose of these puzzles? Who's behind them? What happens when you reach the end? <laughs> When the initial image creepy. appeared on 4chan back in 2012, <laughs> many assumed Cicada 3301 to be an alternate reality game designed by a corporation to promote a new service or product. For example, Microsoft developed an elaborate ARG back in 2001 to promote the film Artificial Intelligence, and a similar viral marketing campaign was used to promote the release of Halo 2. But the release of subsequent puzzles and what? the complete lack of commercialization really? has more or less eliminated that possibility. If we choose to believe some of the leaked information from the private end stage of each puzzle, then we do gain some insight into who this group might be. For example, at the end of the first puzzle, finalists supposedly received this email. In it, Cicada described themselves as an international group who believe that privacy is an inalienable right. The aim of each puzzle is to recruit like-minded individuals in an effort to develop privacy-conscious solutions. The email then concludes with three questions. The PGP signature, which would have confirmed the authenticity of the email, was conveniently removed by the leaker. If a version with a valid signature does exist online, I wasn't able to find it. But regardless of its legitimacy, I find this question a bit odd. It reads, do you believe that information should be free? Assuming the expected answer is yes, then the very first sentence, do not share this information, seems a bit hypocritical. While the idea of a secret society recruiting individuals by means of elaborate cryptographic puzzles may seem a bit absurd or even conspiratorial, it's not entirely unfounded. Corporations and governments alike have employed similar recruitment techniques since at least the Second World War. In 2013, the British intelligence agency GCHQ launched a recruitment program known as Can You Find It? Participants had to decrypt a number of cryptograms hidden across the internet and those who managed to solve the entire puzzle were offered a price or a position at the agency. See, Google did saying, something similar with you. enigmatic billboards back in 2004 and the US Navy launched a near identical project in 2014. Okay, but then what about the recruits? Why have we not heard from these chosen few? Well, we have. It's just that separating a legitimate finalist from an imposter is virtually impossible. In a 2015 interview with Rolling Stone, two alleged winners of the first puzzle chronicled the events beyond the final stage. After receiving an email from Cicada, they were taken to a forum on the dark web. Here they could communicate with 20-some-odd recruits as well as a handful of established members of Cicada. They were told that Cicada 3301 had been founded by a group of friends who shared common ideals about security, privacy and censorship. 
The goal was to work as a collective to develop software applications in line with that ideology. As friends recruited friends, this secret society quickly expanded into a decentralized international organization. The recruits were then tasked with developing software that fit the ideology of the group and members of Cicada would oversee their progress. But without the allure of a puzzle to be solved, the recruits quickly lost interest. By the end of 2012, all but one had left and a few months later, the site was gone. They never heard from Cicada again. Wow, okay. One of the two winners, named Marcus Wanner, later elaborated further in a video by YouTuber Nox Populi. Furthermore, Nox Populi himself claims to be a winner of the second puzzle, so I reached out to him and this is some of what he had to say. After completing the final stages of the second puzzle, Nox Populi received an invitation to join Cicada 3301. However, he was not invited to a website but was instead merely told to be patient. Then, around May of 2013, all communication with Cicada abruptly ceased. This was around the same time as when the website dedicated to the winners of the first puzzle was suddenly taken down. Nox Populi later contacted other winners of the second puzzle to compare notes and their experiences were identical. In his own words, all the stories were the same. We were invited to join 3301, then something happened and silence followed a request for patience. Nox Populi supposed that roughly five others completed the second puzzle in contrast to the 20-odd winners of the first. In regards to who or what Cicada is, Nox Populi believes they could be a remnant of the cypherpunk movement of the late 80s and 90s. Essentially, a small group of activists advocating widespread use of strong cryptography and privacy-enhancing technologies. But he admits that there is no way to know for certain. If you want a far more comprehensive walkthrough of these puzzles as opposed to my brief overview, Nox Populi has produced a number of videos on his channel which I highly recommend. Interesting. While these accounts cannot be verified, they do make for a very compelling argument as to what Cicada is. A group of anonymous developers seeking to develop privacy-conscious applications by recruiting talented individuals via cryptographic puzzles. Sure, it is not nearly as exciting as a shadow government seeking world domination or any of the more fantastical theories, but it is certainly more plausible. You have to keep in mind that no part of these puzzles would have required more than one person. The posters are often pointed to as evidence that this must be the work of some international organization, but I beg to differ. I mean, right now, I could use any number of services to hire random persons around the globe to install posters for me. Although, given that no poster was located more than an hour away from an airport leads me to believe that one or multiple persons actually traveled to these locations. I mean, some of the posters were found within walking distance of an international airport. The fact is that anyone with a disposable income and enough time on their hands would be able to create the illusion of a vast, secret network spanning the globe. Not saying that that is the case with Cicada 3301, but it is nonetheless a possibility that cannot be discounted. I get with that. all of that being said, I personally think a loose-knit group of privacy-minded hobby cryptographers to be the most plausible explanation. Cicada made their last public statement in April of 2017, merely warning against this information. But the current status of the third puzzle and the possibility of a fourth remains clouded in mystery. That was actually really cool. I really enjoyed that. By the way, I didn't even mention it at the beginning of the video. This video is by Lamino. My bad. I usually, I'll leave the link down below so you can check out his channel. And, um, yeah, that was my bad. I usually like to say that right at the beginning. Uh, who does the video and who made the video. Uh, so, yeah, I'm doing it now. Lamino, this was a great video. This is really cool because I... I didn't know, uh, and honestly, my friend got it wrong because what he was talking about is nothing really 
like I think he got a lot heard a lot of misinformation. I'll say he heard a lot of misinformation because what this was saying was not what he was explaining, if I remember. Like I said, I ate an edible and it kicked in, and by that time, when someone just rambles on, rambles on for about an hour and 45 minutes, you kind of like, and I have ADD, so I just kind of go in and out. It's one of those long talkers, you know what I'm saying? We've met some long talkers, so, and they ramble on, and they never let you get a word in edgewise, those kind of people. You know what I'm it's not bad, but I'm just like, sometimes you're like, hey, can I get a word in on it? Can I get a word in edgewise here? But no, this was really cool. And at one point, I think they said cyberpunk, but cypherpunk uh, group. Uh, yeah, this was, uh, it's like puzzles and it's really intricate. Like I would never in a million years get the first step in, let alone get to the second, third puzzle. I would, oh, Jesus, you would have to be like really well versed in the internet, especially. And I really wouldn't want to like go into the dark web. That that's um that's a dark lake that I definitely don't want to get into. Is the dark web? Ooh, there's some. You hear always hear some really scary stuff that comes from the dark web. So it's yeah. So I don't know about I would ever want to dive right into that if I was one of these people because you know the government would be looking for you. <laughs> They'll red flag your ass real quick. Uh, but yeah, tell me how much you really enjoyed this video, and I'll react to more of these. I really find this kind of really interesting. And uh, I really thought it was going to be like more like like a cult or, you know, a secret, like the Hellfire Club is ran by or some weird, crazy stuff. But it was a little bit, a little bit lighter than that. It's not as dark as what I thought it was going to be, what I'm trying to say. So, uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. And I hope you did too. Kind of get some mystery there for the afternoon. And yeah, check out my next video coming out. It'll be the second part of my immortal. I'll get that ready by in the morning. Have it up by the afternoon. And uh, today I'll have this one up. And uh, I have a poll right now. You can check it out. Uh, it's on my community tab. Uh, it's... Uh, a poll between uh, Call Me By My Name or Brokeback Mountain. And uh, so far, Call Me By My Name is ahead of it. And I'm really excited. i like to see that. Um, so, yeah, i like to see Brokeback Mountain. By Call Me By Your Name is a little bit newer. And everyone's talking about it. Everyone says it's so good. And I, I was going to watch it on my own. But I was like, you know what? Let me see if any of my... People who want to watch my channel want me to react to it, and I'll be more than happy to react to it. And um, I'll put it out on a Friday. The poll ends by next uh, August 12th. That's next Friday. Today's right now was this August 8th, 3rd. Yeah, today's August 3rd. So you have like a little bit over a week to uh, vote. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how that goes. So far, so good. I just put it up, and I already got some people already voting right now, so that's fun. Um, but, yeah, and check out my other. I got Instagram. To check out my Facebook. And uh, y'all take care now. Bye. I need a new outro. That's right. I'm, I'm that whole breathy ASMR thing. I'm, I'm getting kind of bored with. But bye, 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 bitches. <laughs> What's this? Dude? Something, thing, something.